Welcome to Man vs Skyrim. I'm going to show you what it takes to get out alive from some of the most dangerous places in Skyrim. I've got to make it through a series of challenges in the sort of places you wouldn't last a day without the right survival skills. I'll be handling some of the toughest terrains and going up against nature's wild side where one slip could cost you your life. Every animal wants a piece of you and you've got to get them before they get you. I'm pinning my wits against nature and showing you what you need to survive in one of the toughest environments known to man. Welcome back to Man vs Skyrim. Last time I made my way across the treacherous slopes of the Arctic Highlands as you can see to my left. I came across a pack of night sabers and it really was an ordeal that I had to run or I would have been mauled to death. I've made my way down to this little island where now I'm going to continue to travel across this little archipelago of island systems here and see what we can come across. And straight away, what is this? Some sort of barnacle. I've come across these sort of things before. I'm not sure if they can be eaten, but I'm going to take them with me because you never know when things like that could be used. Whether it be cutting a rope or buying the barnacles themselves can be quite sharp. I'm going to continue through this area and I want to be quick because this is quite dark water. I'm really not quite sure what could be under here. So I'm just going to make a leap of faith and swim as fast as I can over to there. I've got my trusty companion Miko again. Wherever the hell Miko is hiding. Miko! There you are. Let's go Mako, you can swim. I'm gonna stay a little bit underwater so I can see what I'm up against. I really don't wanna let my vision go and have something take me from underneath. But as per usual, you've gotta take breaths every now and then guys, cause you don't wanna, well, you obviously don't wanna drown. As you can hear, I really had to take a deep breath right then. I'm gonna go back down into this murky depths. It's truly hard to see in front of you. And I don't want to go too much further, because as you can see here, guys, these are actually ice shelves, and you don't want to get caught underneath that sort of thing. Miko, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> these icy areas like this, it's really quite tough terrain. You've got to jump from one to the other, and they really can just flip over at any time, and you don't want to get caught under one of these. All it would take is for one to shift and crush you into the side of one of these rocks, if there's enough weight behind it, and you could find yourself pinned under the water, or even up against the rock face itself, digging into your side, into your skull, and it will take nothing to take you down. Oh god, I've slipped again. I've got to stay up. I've got to stop falling off here. It is quite hard to get a good footing on these little ice shelves. And I'm really not quite sure where this is going to go, guys. I'm not sure if there's more island over there, but it truly is just too big of a distance to swim across. I'll just keep making my way across these islands till we can come across something and we'll just see. And especially here guys, as you can see, these ones are a much larger size. If you slip down behind one of these, you really will get crushed. I think I'm going to keep edging around the skirts of the land here and maybe head more up this way. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks similar to where I was before. I'm just going to keep moving though. I might be able to find something underneath the bottom, but I've got to be quick. I can only hold my breath for so long, and apparently I can talk underwater. <laughs> well, it's really quite an experience. I really should take that into note that it's quite hard to talk underwater. I'm gonna keep moving. There really is not much out here, these arctic slopes. I wanna get into more of a foresty sort of area so I'm gonna keep heading this way and hopefully we can get out of this harsh land but as we know Skyrim is mostly an arctic wasteland here are some trees though, and hang on what's this is this a, a boat of some sort I might be able to find some supplies on board and I don't think anyone would be living there not in a shipwreck of this sort but you never know in these sorts of areas in this whole world you don't know what you could come up against really trying to make out what this is from a distance but it's quite hard to see. Hang on, what? <laughs> it's just too dark to see under there. Alright, we're coming up to the ship now. There might be some supplies on board, something that can help me get on my way, but there's not enough out here guys to get by. You can hear the waves crashing. I'm not quite sure where. 
but I can hear waves crashing somewhere. Either that or there is a dragon flying above me. No, there's not. Alright, let's get on board this ship. And... Is that a fire? There are people here. And they've already spotted me. I'm not quite sure if they're enemies, but in times like this, it's probably best to get my bow out so I can be ready to take these guys on. Apparently, I can't take my bow out because my... Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's get this out. And we'll see if we can pick one off from a distance. Over okay. Here. Whoa. Okay. Probably not the best time to take them on with a bow now that they've spotted me. Let's get out both my weapons here and we'll try to take them on in a sword fight. Wherever you guys gone to. You're trying to shoot me, you've got to be evasive. Try to dodge the arrows, go side to side till you get in close enough. And then move in for the strike. And preferably hit them. I'll mount your head on my be quick wall. before they swing their bows. They seem to be stuck on something. There's one of them down, but I know there was another one that I saw just before. I'm not quite sure where they've moved to. There's one there now. This looks like some sort of magical... I'm not quite sure, but I've got to move in quick. Take them down, they are quite strong foes. Come on, Miko. Get him, Miko. Alright, that was well. Something something else swinging at me. Good job, Miko. The hell? Okay. The water seems to be glimmering up quite strangely, and I'm not quite sure where there was this other person. They've obviously died, so let's just go inside and see what we can take, because they've been living here, I guess. Probably just trying to build up supplies till they've got the courage to get out and get on their way. But as you can see, there's not much here, guys. Got some potions that they've been using, some skooma. Skooma? Why does that sound familiar to me? I think that might be some sort of illegal. Some apples, always good for a quick snack on the road. And what's this? A chest of some sort. And here we've got, ooh, some expensive garnet, some gold, and another potion, which can't really benefit me, but still, things like that you can sell off in town, or even help out a friend. Alright, let's just keep moving. This water seems to be quite strange. More barnacles. Alright. I think there seems to be some more mud crabs on the land just up ahead. There's no real harm taking them, they're just gonna hide. It can be quite hard to see, he's chasing me, but he's not a worry to me at all. And there's something up ahead over here. There's a fish, fish, catch fish. <laughs> I think I was just talking underwater again. <laughs> all right, let's go. I'm not quite sure what this area is here, but we're gonna find out. Miko, you're not Miko. Never mind. Miko just tends to do his own thing and run off and have a little bit of a banter in the forest. Alright, once I get a bit... Whoa, hang on. I only just spotted those guys on the pathway then. I think they've already seen me, but they don't seem to be hostile. I'm almost going to go up and try to talk to these guys and see... Okay, no we're not. A Thalmor Justicar. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to keep running. Hopefully they won't be fast enough to catch me, but either way, I've made them upset or I'm in their land. And this is a time when you've just got to run. Try not to use all your stamina at once, it can really be the fall of you if you let that sort of thing get to you. Okay, they're still coming, I can see them behind me. I'm interested to know what this is, but right now I think it'd just be too risky to go in there alone. Especially without Miko by my side. So I'm going to keep heading around. Oh god, we've got some hyenas on wolves of some sort. I'm going to have to take these guys down quick. Help if I put my weapon out rather than away. Oh, 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 fuck. Okay, here we go. Weapons are out. Let's go. It's an ice wolf. Harsh creatures. These things are strong. They're moving around behind me. This could be it, guys. This thing is taking a large chunk of my health. It's quite hard. It's moving around faster than anticipated. That was quite risky. Any longer and I definitely would have been taken down. They are fierce, fierce creatures, these ice wolves. And I've got to keep on the move before something else ambushes me. And I can find myself dead in the snow, staining it with red. Let's keep going. I think Miko is definitely... Miko! 
Now you come. Where were you when I was fighting that ice wolf? Bad Miko. Bad Miko. Sit. Good dog. I kind of feel quite harsh after that. Ah, here we go. Some more tapanella. Don't know what that is, but anyway, I'm going to take it because I'm a hoarder. Alright, let's move. If I stay out of battle for long enough, I should have enough time to come back a little bit. But what's this over here? There seems to be some sort of little camp. I can't see any people here. Now I can hear that sound again. The strange sound that this Nern root makes. Okay. There might be some food that I can take from this little camp here. And by the looks of it, there's no one here at the time. Could be a hunter of some sort. Some sort of cannibal or barbarian. But as you can see, there's plenty of good stuff to take here. We can use this cooking spit if I needed to. I think I've still got a lamb leg there somewhere. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna put me in some. Leave my cup. Why can't I? Lack the. Ah. I'm just gonna have a stir of his food, have a sniff, and head on my way because that's just a fucking load of bullshit. Alright, what have we got? What can we take from this sad sack of a traveler? As I search his sack. Salt. I love salt. Nothing there. Miko, we're in a camp and you're barking. Shush! Shush! Miko. God. Alright, let's keep going. What's happening? It's not letting me sprint. Ah, don't know what's going on. What's this? A clam. An empty clam. Well, that's unfortunate. That could have been very, very vital if I found a clam, a pearl even. A pearl can fetch a decent price in town. I don't know what's going on, but something's bugging out. I'm just going to keep moving. I can't sprint, though, for some stupid-ass reason. So we're just going to be walking the land. What was that? Another one. We got some clam meat. Still no pearls, but clam meat can definitely be eaten. Alright. This L2 button is going quite strange. Radio. I think we're going to have to call this an episode soon, guys, because I'm struggling to walk and run, apparently. Let's see if we can find somewhere to settle down for the night. Somewhere safe, maybe with a bit of cover. Doesn't seem to be too much here, so we'll have to keep moving just for a little bit longer. Hopefully there isn't going to be any more ice wolves or anything that can attack me. Especially not a dragon. Miko, swim. It doesn't seem to be much in the waters, although dark and murky, and it does seem quite scary at times. I haven't been attacked by anything yet. <laughs> I'm stuck on something. I cannot go that way. What? Okay. Apparently I cannot go that way. This game is being quite strange today. I really think I'm going to have to call this one a night, guys. There isn't really anywhere safe, but if I can get up to one of these higher ledges here, nothing should be able to get to me during the night. So we'll try to get up to a decent little spot here and see what happens. And we're running again. Alright. Here we go. This little alcove here could be alright, guys. I'm going to go collect some leaves off these branches and more of the, the larger ones where I can make a bit of a, a makeshift door. Ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Sit down. We're eating crab for dinner, Miko. We're eating crab. Alright. So, guys, that is another episode of Man vs. Skyrim. I'm going to buckle down here for the night. And pretty soon, I'm going to head inland and see if we can't come across something more. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later.